Hi, y'all. Chatty Kathy here. Thank you so much for listening again to my podcast. Happy 2022. I hope things are going great so far. And it's going so fast already. It's almost April. My goodness. Well, the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about skincare. And there's going to be five skincare podcasts. And then the sixth one is going to be on hair and nails. And this is what everybody's been asking me. Kathy, what do you do? What do you do? So I finally made it into a podcast. I studied a lot for our skincare, and that's why it ended up being five podcasts. I'm like, I can't put this all in one. Oh, my goodness, everybody would go crazy. So the first one, which we're going to talk about next, is anatomy and physiology and some of our environment. And that also includes our individual emotional inputs, okay? You always have to remember that. The second podcast is going to be on skin folds, which is skin pimples, because my son says, Mom, please get that out there. We'll also talk about disease and illness and what these lines could actually mean on your face. It might not be what you think. The third one is going to be on suntans and scars that we get. We'll also talk about some greens and some vitamins that we can also use for the skin too. So the fourth one, we have to talk about quick fixes is what I call them, injections and peels and surgeries, just to let you know that they're all temporary and it's temporary love for yourself. So if that's what you need to do, absolutely. But I'm going to give you something different that you can do also, okay? And then the fifth one is going to be my journey with my skin, how I started out. And yes, all the things that I've done to my skin, which aren't good, and the things that I've learned and improved to do it from the inside out, right? This is what I do for my skin care. This is what I do for my health. And remember, with all the new things that I'm learning and all the new things that I'm going to be teaching you about your first line of defense, okay, that is our skin. Our first line of defense is our beautiful skin. Because of that, I've changed some of the things that I do also. We're going to talk about the important things that our integumentary system does for us, and that's our skin system, right? What actually controls our skin, okay? It's probably not what you think, and it's not what I thought either, okay? And what healthy skin is actually made of. And then, of course, for people my age, why we get wrinkles, why we get those dark spots, as we get older, okay? So I'm gonna tell you how I take care of my skin, how I take care of my hair. I use True Science skincare products. I've been doing that for probably eight or nine years now, and they basically activate my NERF2 activators, my NRF2 activators, and that is a master regulator of antioxidants, and antioxidants is one of the things that makes you age and get disease and illness, okay? Antioxidants work with free radicals, da 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 but basically, I work from the inside out and the outside in, which is temporary from the outside in, but the inside out makes it more longer lasting. And that's what I'm going to teach you over these next five podcasts, okay? And it is awesome. And yes, you can do it. You can take care of and protect your window to the world without even trying hard. And that's one of my biggest things. I'm not going to spend hours and hours, okay? Watch my oxidative stress podcast from before, and that'll teach you a lot more about free radicals and oxidative stress. And true science I get from LifeVantage. I will put that link below. I've been with them forever, and I love them. Just remember, the earlier that you start with anything for your health, the bigger the difference and the easier it will be as you progress in age because you can't stop that, but you can slow it down. Okay? So as you care for your skin, Make sure you teach and you show your children also, okay? And they need to start now, okay? And yes, it's girls and boys. Everybody has to take care of their skin. Skin care is for everyone. Skin care is for all peoples, okay? All animals take care of their faces, right? So you have to perform your daily maintenance. Just like you have to eat, just like you have to go to the bathroom, you have to protect your first line of defense against the environment, okay? And this deserves so much special attention, right? Don't dogs clean their face and cats clean their faces, lick their faces, and then wipe it on your pants? Everything takes care of their skin that's alive, okay? I guess the plants do too because they can't wait for the rain to wash off the dust so they can breathe through their skin again, through their leaves, right? It's the same thing with your skin, same thing. One thing I will tell you is please be careful about the motivations and the things that you do to hide the normal changes as you age. To hide yourself, basically, make sure you have the right motivations, okay? 
And then when you do it, you won't have that negative emotion of probably needing to cover up your face all the time. Some cover-ups are good. They're necessary. And sometimes, absolutely, I love to get all dressed up and put makeup on. And oh my goodness, but it doesn't need to be all the time. And I'm doing it to make myself feel better about myself, not to hide something or make me feel better or look better to somebody else, okay? I guess, yes, if your boyfriend, you want your husband, whatever, your soulmate, you want to look good for them, absolutely. But you know what? You look good for them anyway. So be careful of those mother visions. And if you do want to put some makeup on, I always go to my friend, Teresa B. She works at Uniquely Beautiful Makeup. So many tips, so awesome. Any colors I need, I will definitely put my link below, and I'll be talking about her throughout these podcasts too, okay? One thing I will let you know that is in your favor is that you can heal. Yes, you can heal. All this negativity and the fear that we have, all this uncertainty is definitely not your fault. And you can definitely overcome it because now you know that it's not your fault. We, you, have been persuaded successfully by the media, by the government, by insurance companies, by big food companies, about makeup companies, Oh, everybody, about the things that are happening in the world, okay? We've been programmed. We're thinking that men, women, children, our animals, our homes, our cars, the food that we eat, the way our hair looks, the color it is, the clothes that you wear, and you could name it. Please name some below, absolutely. They all need to be a certain way, and we need to look a certain way, okay? Advertisements on TV, magazines, billboards, they actually make you think of what you need to do to fit into the social network, to fit in with your community. You gotta have a special phone, and then when it updates, you gotta have that too. You have to be active on certain platforms in the media, or you're not with it, right? And you'll never know what's going on. The list goes on and on. Yes, name some below. We don't need it. We have been persuaded, okay? We've been persuaded with our everyday living, and that adds up worry. It makes us think about and worry about not keeping up, about not fitting in. Continuously, every day, as soon as we wake up, before we go to bed, this is continuous stress. And this is increasing your stress hormones. And we'll talk about that too during these podcasts. You have high stress hormones all the time because you're always worrying. And some things are legitimate, some things you don't need to. Imagine what that does to your body. Imagine what that does to your skin, right? advertisements actually remind us and remind you and me that we are not like anybody else. And you know what? Thank God for that. Thank you so much. You don't want to be like anybody else. Thank the universe for that. But they also do it in a huge negative way. Okay. They do it for profit. They don't do it for love. They don't do it for love of your communities. They don't do it for love of you. They do it for profit. How can we make us better than the other person? How can we make them buy this, okay? They spend billions and billions of dollars to make you feel that you're not worthy, that you're not beautiful, that we are not adequate, that we are actually not part of our community. Yes, you are. Stop watching that stuff. I'm not going to cry. They remind you of what you don't have. Whether you actually thought about it or not, you know, now you know that you don't have this. And you don't look like this. I'm lacking something. And that makes people, whole families, communities feel left out and alone by themselves. I'm here to tell you that you're not. You're not. There's so many people that feel the same way. And there's so many people that are here to help you too. Oh, and and don't forget if you're sick or you could be sick or you know somebody that is sick. The pharmaceutical company is going to have any answer to your side effects of the problem that you have, not to your disease, to the side effects of your disease, okay? The side effects, actually, of your poor immune system, right? Where's your immune system? Our microbiome. That's where the main part of it is, right? The side effects of your diseases, the side effects of the medications that you're taking, There are many, many theories why we age. Please watch my theory of aging a couple months ago. Okay, that would be so awesome. Remember to love, like, subscribe, and share so we can get to more people to make them healthy and to bring them into the family. Come glow with us. Come and glow with us, right? 
bring them into the community. Nobody deserves to be out there and alone, okay? Okay, so I'm sure that you've noticed that your face looks different at many times during the day, many, many factors. Basically, our environment, right? Our environment affects our skin 100%. Can I say 200%? Our environment affects our skin 200%. Yes, genetics, maybe 10%, maybe 10%. So we're talking a little bit about the environment, the sun, the sunscreen, the atmosphere, smoking, stress, stress that's chronic or not, emotional and physical stress, you have to add those both in, Poor nutrition, good nutrition, doesn't matter. Creams, cover-ups, products, and of course, excessive dieting. That's just naming a few of them, okay? What about how you sleep? The lack of sleep, the position that you sleep in, and the pillowcase that you sleep on. How much caffeine do you drink? Answer these questions below. How many drugs do you take? These are prescription, over-the-counter, and on the street, doesn't matter. It all adds up. How much salt do you drink and eat? How much salt do you think you drink and eat? Okay. What kind of diet have you been on most of your life? We'll talk about that in one of the podcasts. How many sugars have you consumed in a meal? How about so far today? How much protein do you consume in a day? Your body can only handle so much. Your kidneys can only handle so much. And then what happens? It gets stored as sub-Q tissue. How many fluids have you consumed today so far? Water, the best water, right? Our distilled water. Watch my podcast on water too. There's four of them from a couple months ago. So how about all these environmental factors that I just named and whatever you're naming below or texting me, okay? Where you live, your habits, your routines, do you smoke, do you use alcohol, do you put chemicals on your skin, do you work around harsh chemicals? And don't forget our everyday things that we don't even think of, think about, right? For the most part, fertilizers, insecticides, pesticides, herbicides, larvicides. There's mold remedy applications. There's fungicides. Now, fungicides I'll talk about for a second because fungicides are broad spectrum. That means they get a little bit of everything, okay? And they usually spray them on our plants. But did you know that they're also sprayed on our new clothing? Do you wash your clothes after you buy them from a store before you put them on, especially under clothes? Fungicide are sprayed on our couches, our new cars, our old cars. Fungicide are sprayed on garbage bags. They're sprayed on manufactured goods, right? Of course, they're used in hospitals. We need to use those in hospitals. They add to some of the foods that we eat. Fungicides, yes. Also, to help your skin be better, do you eat three or four hours before bedtime? Do you give your liver time to sleep? Or do you make it work 24-7 because you decided to eat that little snack before you went to bed? Now, I'm not talking about if you're diabetic and need to do those things. Yes, keep an eye on your sugar. Just think about it. Maybe you should eat something that's going to last a little bit longer. Or cut something else down before you go to get bed so your liver can sleep also, okay? Do you smother your skin with special lotions? Is it really, really clean? How did you treat your skin and your hair when you're a teenager, when you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s? And yes, there's also your genetics and heredity, but you know those percentages, even with disease and illnesses, okay? These factors all add up, right? But they'll also give you a timeline that when you start, how long you're going to take to see results, right? And if you change and do things, a few things at a time, it's going to happen so much faster, right? So starting around age 30 or so, depending on your environment before and your environment now is how you talk to the world with your skin. And I think now because of our environment and the things that we all do, it's maybe starting 25 or so before our 30s, okay? Please watch my skincare podcast, which is going to be the fifth one on how to change older skin and maybe give you the timeline when when you're going to actually see some results, which like I said, do it different ways and you'll see them a lot faster. Okay. And you know, you're only as old as you act or you don't act, right? That's what people say. Act your age. No. Why? Act my age. Why? Why? In my line of work, I was supposed to be 
mature as possible because I was a nurse and I was an ER nurse. Talk about a very, very stressful job, an ER nurse. And I used to try so hard not to play around and laugh and make my coworkers laugh to decrease the stress, to make my patients laugh to decrease the stress of what they're actually going through at that time, okay? But let me tell you, it didn't really ever work out that way. I always played around. Just ask anybody that I used to work anybody that I used to work with, okay? You got to play. You got to play. Never grow up. Have fun. Laugh a lot. It will make you fluff up. It will flush your skin. It will flush your face with beautiful oxygen-filled blood. You will be able to see the joy in your face. You will glow. You will light up. You're going to tighten up those muscles from smiling. Also, who cares if you get little lines? It doesn't matter. You'll tighten up those little muscles. You will tighten up your core muscles, too, if you laugh out loud. And that will get your Kegels done. Both men and women, it doesn't matter. Men, do you dribble, too? Yes, you do. Laugh out loud. Do those Kegel exercises. What are you waiting for? Do it together. Be fun, right? (laughs) Absolutely. Do it together. I have to say this, before engaging in any new experiments, any invasive procedures, please, like surgery, and that's going to be the highest invasive procedure we'll talk about in quick fixes, please at least to try, try to do something new to boost your love for yourself first, okay? Spend that time with yourself every single day. 15 minutes should be the minimum. Talk to yourself nicely all the time. Be joyful no matter what, all the time. Love, love, love. That's the main thing. This is a must do, okay? And if you're going to do surgery, then you need to start thinking about how much it's going to cost. What is your downtime going to be? And if you're possibly going to have to do it again. Surgical alterations might not be long term no matter what they tell you today. You know why? Because your skin changes all the time. You keep growing all the time. How many times are you going to take that chance, right? Try to find safe, natural products. That's the main thing that you should use, okay? Look up the natural stuff. Make sure that your moisturizer does not have a toxin in it, okay? Do a search for additive-free skincare products and additive-free hair care products, and please Comment below. Tell me what you use. I'm always looking, right, to share with other people too, okay? I use True Science, but I do use Eminence on the side too, and I use some Teresa B's, um, Teresa B's Uniquely Beautiful. Absolutely. A variety of things, okay? And one little thing to think about, if you're gluten-free, if you're on a gluten-free diet, you really know how to read those labels and find out, right, that they put wheat in their products too. Check for gluten. Turn that around, okay? Check everything that comes in contact with your skin and goes in your body, okay? All of your personal care products. I'll put a link below on Think Dirty, and that's pretty much about cancer, um, but on a scale of one to seven, your product, you take a picture of it, and if they have it in their data bank, they'll, they'll let you know on a scale of one to seven if that product could be carcinogenic. So if it's one, two, and three, those are better for you. The Life Vantage True Science Skin Care and Hair Care that I use, they are in the one and twos. Absolutely, but I'll put that link below. It's called Think Dirty, okay? And also another thing to think about, I don't care if you can afford this. You should not be spending $200 or $500 or anything more on a little jar of anything. Right. My skin glows with vitality, with life because I laugh a lot, because I help my skin, new to some of you, not only from the outside in, which is temporary, like I said, because our bodies rejuvenate, they replenish cells every single day, right? It's temporary, but I help my skin, my picture to the outside world from the inside out. This is what I do. And our new saying is, come and glow with us. I know somebody else has come and glow, come glow with us. I'm saying come and glow with us, with all of us, with me. So what I do is I clean, moisturize, and protect on the outside. And on the inside, I eliminate, detox, and eliminate, okay? And I try to speak through my heart all the time. Love, it makes a huge positive difference in your complexion on how your emotions are. 
and we'll talk about that also, okay? So remember to love, like, subscribe, and share. We're going to move right on in to A&P in, in the next podcast. Thank you so much for coming with me on this journey. Yes, I'm finally getting it out, but let me tell you, it's going to be worth it. Thank you so much. Love, learn, and take control. And yes, you can. And I'll see you in the next podcast. Thank you.